This video is about authority. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. In this video, I will be giving you some of my opinions and viewpoints and perceptions of the way authority works in my life with regards to the navigation of the correct sentence structure communication parsley syntax grammar, i.e. quantum grammar landscape or seascape. <laughs> to begin with, I'd like to ask the viewer a question. Do you consent to anyone having authority over you? If so, why? To go into my own life and share with you uh, some personal details, in my past, in my past, I have consented to certain entities having authority over me, such as governments, bosses, supervisors, managers, uh, even religious ideologies of supreme beings. All these type of things. It's authoritarianism and you're consenting to them having authority over you, which gives them psychological and sometimes physical control over you. And what does it mean when someone has physical and psychological control over you, whether it's through coercion, force, fear, threats, uh, these type of things, you know, do this or else. Do this, or this is going to happen. Well, in my mind, that's slavery. That's my opinion. What happens when you take authoritarianism and you flip it, and you become the authority, which every single person watching this video is their own authority. They just have to claim it. And that's what happened to me in learning this technology, which 90% of it was psychological. I claimed my own authority. I became accountable for all my actions, every single one. I didn't have to start, I didn't have to look over my shoulder and say, well, is it okay if I do this? Is it okay if I do that? No. As long as you are in joinder with the rule one and rule equal volition, your navigations, there will be no troubles. Well, I mean, with your conscience anyways. You can't really predict what other vessels, how other vessels are going to react to your navigation with the rule one and the rule equal, because they may not be in joinder with the rule one and rule equal, which we encounter quite frequently out here. <laughs> I'll also go into what I would call the misuse of authority. There are certain figures the claim authority, which I mentioned before, could be bosses, they could be managers, they could be uh, governments, judges. They claim, they make a claim of authority under certain tactics, uh, modalities of navigation, such as fear, coercion, and things like that. And that is a misuse of authority, when someone tries to have authority over someone else or control someone else's actions. There's a fine line between guidance and dependence. And I'll go into that right now real quick. I'm, I'm a language tutor. I teach quantum grammar, correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I look at myself as a guide. My volition is to be a guide to the students so that when they come into my workshops, I'm giving them the knowledge in the hopes that when they push their vessels out there into the sea of space to navigate, they don't have to look back and say, hmm, is this okay, Jason? Am I? No, I, I, I mean, as a guide, I can help you guide. I can help guide you, but I'm not going to try and control you. What I want you to do is you go out there on your own autonomy and never have to look back again. There are some out there under the guise of guidance who create dependence, where they throw a hook and a rope onto your vessel as they push you out. And every so often, 
they'll jerk your vessel and you have to look back and say, oh, is this okay? Is this not okay? And so you stay connected and they create a dependence and you never become autonomous. And one way, one good way to identify this is when you ask for closure from an authority. If they become angry, if they become short with you, then you know that's flag protocol. That's a red flag. Because either they don't have the closures you're looking for, they don't know, or they don't want to tell you because they want to create a doubt in your mind so that you stay connected to them. And I'm not going to go too much into that because that's the negative part of it. And if anyone has any questions on that, they can contact me in a confidential at my email, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. So that's my view on authority. There's a positive and a negative to it. When you are your own authority, that's positive with the rule one and rule equal volition. If you give authority to someone else, that's entirely different. And you're giving up control of your psyche to that authority. Just keep that in mind. Thank you very much for listening to my opinions. If you like it, please hit the like button, the thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.